um, just making and and um, a lot of a lot of it more is is more is more intuitive and it's not like I'm never thinking um, or I, n I never have like an idea of like what the final product's going to be like I think the the philosophy behind it is more like a discovery and like a um, and experimenting I mean it's more it's more kind of touch and go and and um, I guess reactionary I think more where I I make this mark and I have I don't know what it, what it, the final products but I have like an idea of what it should look like so I, I make this mark and then I'm in conflict where I have to make this other mark where it has to balance and then it just turns into this huge um, kind of problem solving you know where it's like I'm trying to make this this um, you know composition um, and how do I do it and how do I add excitement and movement and all the I mean there's so many things into it that that it, it's hard to, to do it but I think the the discovery and the journey and the um, experimenting I think is the philosophy behind it I had drawn in black and white since I was like four years old, um, thought I was going to do some kind of illustration and then um, and then really when I got to, well more so when I got to OSU, um, I think that I felt that it was, it wasn't art or it wasn't, you know, it wasn't fine art and that I had to make things that looked like art, you know, I mean I'm, I'm serious and so, so I think I started making things that I thought looked like art and then somehow through like continuing the practice, um, I started making this stuff. You know what I'm saying? But I, I, I really think, I really think going to Ohio State really defined me, or or defined like the the work that I make. Um, you know, like running into like Alan Crockett. You know, he had he had um, he was really um, supportive, and um, I don't know. I just got along with him, and I, I think a lot of that is is shown in my work. I mean, a lot of my stuff. I mean, looks pretty similar, and, and it's hard. And I'll catch myself where. You know, you, you see something that you want to emulate and, and it'll come through in your work regardless of, you know, if it's a teacher or if it's a, you know, if I'm reading, I'm reading a book on um, de Kooning right now and I'll see like de Kooning stuff pop in and it's never anything that I plan and it's never intentional, but I think it's just, it's like a, you know, a kid seeing what he wants when he, you know, he like, there's a, there's this good story where, um, you know, it talks about the difference between imitation and identification where, uh, you know, a kid picks up a, a newspaper because he sees his dad reading it and he doesn't know how to read, you know, but he's, he's got the newspaper and he's just pretending to read, you know, and, and, um, and so, so that's the imitation, but the identification is, is seeing what you want and then going through the actual whole process, you know, learning to read and, and everything and then being able to do that. And I think that's, that's really what it was, was I think initially I saw what I wanted, you know, or what I thought I wanted to be and then, um, you know, through the past Ten or twelve years, I kind of went through my own stuff, and then I think I arrived at, at what is my stuff, or at least something authentic. I don't know that that I I I love making it. Um, that I I think what I'm really trying to do is is um, I mean, there's a feeling I get when I make this work, and and there's a passion about it, and there there's a love that I try to put into the work and I'm hoping that people like get that and and feel that and and I think that's what the the response is I mean it's not like I said it's not this message and it's not you know I think it's more emotional and it's more you know I'm just trying to connect with people in a way and so I think like like I'm trying to put myself into this work in a way that that you can like feel me you know what I'm saying I mean and not like like a feel you know what I'm saying but like like where you're just like oh like I I get that you know and I, and I think there's a way you can do that and it's the same and I see a lot of it with with music. I, I relate a lot of my work to music, where it's, um, you know, there's there's a melody that'll strike me, you know, in a way that that elicits this like emotional response, and it's nothing to do with. I mean, it might be reminiscent of something from the past or something like that, but um, I'm trying to do that in my work. I think. You know, my my vocabulary is is color and shape and line you know and and how i use that to to try to express something and i and i think that um i think that's the whole purpose behind art though is that it's it's an expression of something that i can't really verbalize you know what i'm saying and it's really hard for me to verbalize and so um so i just have to say it you know in, in line and shape and color and then hope that 
you know, you get it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because I, I think that's the whole reason why people make art, or like, or like, like artists, artists make art, is because there's something in you that you're trying to communicate to someone, and you can't figure out how to do it, and this is like the only way you know how.